Hello and welcome to MML Gaming HD. I'm MML Oraculum. And I'm MML Ninja Monkey. And we're here for a bonus game. This is Marine King vs Horvath. Grudge match on ESV Ohana LE. Grudge Sounds match. a bit like a rap that, doesn't it? It is a grudge match. It is a grudge match. So, I'm not f fond of this map, particularly. Um, yes, this map, I haven't really played it that much because I do more videos than actual laddering. Exactly. So, uh, it's not on Heart of the Swarm, I don't think. So, neither of us really that familiar with this map. I have played on it though. It does look nice. It's a nice looking map indeed. It However, is pretty. I am playing on lowest graphics just for enhanced frames per second. Frames per second deserve that zoom in there because uh, everything deserves a zoom in when it's epic. But yes, this is a redo. This is, um, it was actually a 2 to 0 Marine King win. However, Horvath wanted to play again because he really feels that that game didn't display his true skill. Yeah, so we've got a probe now scouting out towards the only base which it can be, so it's definitely going to be cross-spawn. And he was a bit annoyed about that on the first map, wasn't he, Horvath? Yeah, he did think that that map that we were playing on was cross-spawn only. However, it was actually the closest spawn you could get. Yeah, and <laughs> it... Uh, it annoyed him slightly, but now it's definitely cross spawn. He's going to be able to scout exactly what's going on, and this is the first time his probes actually reached it inside the base, I think. Yes, so this game. Barracks down, getting a bit aggressive there. It's not working, though. That uh, SCV is going to chase him until it dies or leaves the base. Oh! Oh! Nah, he's stopped. He's stopped now. This is uh, over. There's not really much to say at the moment. It's all very standard. Uh, we, c we can pretty much predict from this game that there's going to be an exp early expansion from both players the one racks or the one gate but not as fast as last game because they were both very quick expansions yeah and we did see marine king holding the map quite nicely after his expansions have been down especially after the third was out he really started becoming a very mobile kind of aggressive army yeah, his his style is rather defend when I've got when I'm happy. Uh, let's be aggressive and get map control. And Horvath's really been on the early aggression and late defense in these games. Yeah, he's uh, it's it's lost out because each time Marine King has been prepared for that aggression. And even though Horvath got a very nice window of opportunity last game, he uh, Marine King managed to just kite him around his uh, natural expansion. Yep, and oh, another fast expand from Marine King. So this is a running theme now. Yeah, and maybe Horvath this time is thinking, right, he's done a very quick expand both times. I think I might do something a bit cheesy to do some damage early on. Because it doesn't look like he's saving up for that Nexus just yet. No, he could be thinking, you know, he wants to get a win, get revenge. So he could go for an early kill. Or he, he could might do the think, four gate. Yeah, he could do a four gate, which does work against Terran. <laughs> if they're not prepared and bunkers, they, they really are just great, aren't they? <laughs> when you are Terran and you're being pushed by Protoss, bunkers do just end that. They are just an amazing uh, building to have. Oh, and the early pressure's in oh, right now. Not even getting into the uh, bunker there. How did oh. we miss this? The Zealots... Uh, straight onto that command center and a stalker now coming up to and running away <laughs> oh, <laughs> but here we go we've got the uh zealot destroying that and he's gonna block any marines from getting in and oh. the micro starts yeah here we this go. Is and a... that stalker coming up at the perfect time he's gonna try and block that marine from getting in but he's just got in but he's got free roam over pretty much the whole base and a lot of SEVs being pulled here to try and defend this Oh, and if he loses that zealot, he loses his pushing power. Yeah, now this stalker's going to have to retreat back as soon as it loses some health. Yeah, but that stalker, remember, it is good against um, marines, but a lot of SCVs being pulled here to destroy the stalker, and that stalker just weaving his way, but he's not going to make oh, it. Oh, no, he's, he's trapped. trapped completely. That was a perfect surround, and as uh, 
an ex Warcraft free player, I love it when I see us around. That was just that, that was beautiful from Maroon King. Yeah, that's the most effective early pressure we've seen yet. And the Nexus has been placed and will be finished soon. So that was some very nice play there. You know, I don't know how many SCV kills he got, if any. He did manage to kill some of the Marines, but look what he's done to the main base. Yeah, not saturated at all and uh I don't. I'm gonna just check how many uh, SCV kills he got. Uh, it I can't remember what tab it's under, but Marines now pushing out into the middle of the map. He's trying to get that. He feels like he's slightly behind, doesn't he? Yeah, and in fact, he is actually slightly behind. That pressure worked very nicely to Horvath's favour, favour. But. The Robo Bay is out, so he'll be able to get the Observer out now as well. So he's in a very nice position, actually. Got the early scouting coming in. Yeah, definitely. And here we go. Oh, <laughs> did he just attack his own? <laughs> it did look like that. <laughs> okay. So uh, a lot of those Marines thought there was going to be a... What's it called? I'm not even going to try and remember. I'll... If I remember at some point during this cast, I will shout out the word. But here we go. We've got something, an Observer now, coming to check out what's going on. Yeah, and he does see the Marine. Not a biggie. You know, he's usually going to have that by this point in the game. And the Observer's going to come up here, and what's he going to see? He's going to see the Starport and the Factory. Now, this has been happening every game. He has been swapping them over, getting the Starport on the Reactor, and getting out Medivax. Yeah, that seems to be his tactic against Protoss. He's very in favour of the Bio uh, versus Protoss. But I've just remembered what the word is. It's Mutiny. The Marines thought Mutiny was happening. Well, Sorry about that. Is sat here nicely. I'm not sure if Marine Kings actually noticed this. No, that observer uh, getting a nice scout out on how many SCVs there are at the main and what units coming out of those production. Another observer out now. He really wants to know what's going on. Yeah, and a factory being sent out for a little scout here. Kind of the heavily armoured, blatant observer. Just <laughs> yeah. sits in your way and you know it's there. And now... Basically, that observer is going to the exact same place where I think that factory is heading towards right now. Yeah, they're going to be... Just trying to... Oh. Oh. Oh, he, s he didn't build it because he saw the observer. Very nice. Very quick thinking, but I don't know if it would have mattered really, and that observer is now on his way up there anyway. Yeah, Horvath is really bang on his scouting this game. He, he wants to stay ahead, but... Look at his money. Is he concentrating too much on what Marine King is doing and not looking at what he is doing? I think those forges have been up for uh, quite a while and nothing coming out of them yet. Uh, and a third going up now for Horvath, but a little push coming down for Marine King. In the factory coming in round the back, going to be able to scout that soon. But Horvath has, if he has seen this, he has spotted the army. And Ooh, Marine King, King spotting that observer. Yeah, he, Very keen eye. Yeah, he did see that ripple that does show. It is quite easy to see, but he seems to have left that there, maybe thinking he flew off into the rocks. Very strange micro there. Uh, I don't observer. know what he was doing. There are so many observers out right now. Three in Mass this one observer. area. He has just made so many observers, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at his army. He's just going to... Oh, that stalker just getting suicided here, and there's going to be some... What is he going to say to this? I don't know, he could pull back some of those observers so uh, he could watch it a bit more in detail. But here we go, the army is going... Ooh, a nice split this time. That is a good split. That is in his favour. Yeah, he was really working around those force fields like a wall there, actually using them against Horvath. No, the Zealot's really doing much damage. And here we go. Oh, those those force fields, very good. But now he's run, he's run away from them again. And I don't think this push is actually going to do enough damage. No, those force fields didn't stop the bio army. It would have been quite effective if there were a few more zealots out on the field. But now we do have a colossus. It's going to be, you know, a lot more effective. And Marine King wisely taking that retreat. And quite even now, even though there's uh, all these observers, he has got a lot of map control just because he can see almost everything. And there is two observers just sat down by Horvath's fourth for some reason. I'm not too sure why. And... There is a total of four observers out on the field, so he's got one here, he's got one scouting the third, and he's got two doing nothing. One is well, now moving out. He's now making it move, but here we go. Another 
both trying to gain map control right now. There could be an engagement in the middle of the map. Um, we haven't seen much of that. We've only seen a back and forth sort of engagements between these two. Yeah, and this is what sort of happens when um, both players become more active on the map you're going to have trouble choosing when to strike because you know the other players just on the other side of the map. Yeah, exactly. And a fourth going down now for Horvath. And the food is equal, exactly. Well, it was when I said it. And he did take out that observer. I just caught the glimpse of the scan, so that has gone down. And both players just sort of stacking up the units. One thing is... Ah, uh, Marine King's actually dealing with that now. I was going to say the Colossus count is slowly, steadily increasing, but he is starting to get those Vikings out now. Yeah, and uh, the production is quite even here, but Marine King just that, that slight bit ahead. Um, and I'm not sure how this is going to go. Horvath looks like he's going crazy on expands, and it looks like Marine King's just trying to mass up right now. He's not thinking about a fourth... Yeah, Horvath looks like he's really trying to take advantage of this uh, moment of silence. Trying to just get a bit of an advantage for when the battle does happen. So he can just macro his way back into the fight. But Horvath here, he, he could have five bases up by that time. And then then he could just put down so many gates and just forever have 400 food cap. Yeah, he is adding on three more gateways right now. And... There is an issue here, he does need to start warping in some units. He needs to get some more meat to his army. It's quite zealot heavy. He has started adding on Archons, which is very useful, and it's going to be a little flank here. Here we go, and now the Protoss army is going to come from behind, not protecting the Nexus, and that Nexus probably will fall. And here we go, the charging zealots are racing into this battle, and doing quite a lot of damage and oh if he had a uh, sentry right there that could have been a very nice little trick. and he's got a surround here with his units the bio force trying to do their best to micro and a lot of the zealots have fallen actually and those colossus aren't fast enough and the archon is doing a lot of damage to those medivacs and if those medivacs go down this could be gg yeah the whole bio army's on such low health the colossus just mopping up everything here Nothing to end the battle with for Marine King Horvath just winning with the tech advantage there. Yeah, that was a, a very stalemate sort of fight because neither ended with enough units to actually do any damage afterwards. So Marine King not in a bad position after losing that fight, but Horvath has that slight advantage on tech at the moment as we saw from that fight. Yeah, but both players really starting to double their production. There's two Colossus coming out at once and four vikings however he's making four medivacs now this is not what he needs with double colossus production going on he's gonna slowly but surely be dominated by the amount of colossus but he did lose all his medivacs in that uh, engagement so he does need some uh, medivacs on the field it's yeah, a very uh, a good point but he's gonna need a higher viking count when the conflict comes however from that um engagement they just had Marine King did take out one of the bases, and now probably thinks that he's a base ahead. Yeah, when in actual fact they're equal again, so Horvath's really got a nice advantage this time. And his food is going up a lot quicker than Marine King's uh, now. He's <laughs> definitely in the money, and he's getting gravi gravitic... Is that how you say it? Gravitic boosters for the uh, Observer. That would be quite handy, just trying to keep up with the army with those obs, as he does have quite a few. He's building two right now, and he does have two on the field, so that'll bring him up to a total of four. So, Marine King did get a nice scan off there, actually revealing to him that he's going to need a lot more Vikings than he currently has. Yep, and maybe some more Archons need to go down, because that will do a lot of damage in this uh, instance. Yeah, and... Horvath really, really nicely actually sitting on a lot of money so he can reinforce his army with a nice amount of Archons and this will just make the Vikings irrelevant. And since he's got a uh, Psy Storm, Psionic Storm, he's going to be able to get those High Templars out and do so much damage to that bio. Ah, see, there's where the problem with the Archons are. The Ghosts are just going to reduce their shield to nothing, leaving them with just 10 health. Exactly, and there are four ghosts on the way, so it's really hard to tell which army composition is better. This Oil. is oh, a brilliant scan there, revealing that Protoss army. Um, and the food now 
coming to about the same. And as this engagement happens, and that bunker falls almost immediately, and the turret taking out only one unit lost from each player there, I think. Um, I'm not sure who's going to take... Who has the upper hand here at all? Well, there are so many Colossus, and they are on 3-3 three, three apiece. Marine King's only on 2-2, two, two, so those Colossus are going to do so much damage. They just need to get in there and pump out those lasers. Indeed. And the Vikings now going across the map to find the Colossus. And oh. they found the High Templar. Oh, very nice EMP going off there. And taking out one of them with a snipe shot, I think. Oh, the Ghost just advancing here. These High Templars have been reduced to nothing. He might as well just morph two of these into an Archon with the impeding army before him. Yeah, definitely. And Marine King has pushed Horvath back to this Zelnaga tower and I'm not sure what's going to happen here. And a brilliant scan again. Yeah, these scans are really revealing the um, composition of the army, showing where they are. It's not really lined up in any sort of format and if these ghosts get a good EMP off, Horvath is going to have to fall back. That's half of his army's health lost in one go and here it comes. Oh, and they're invisible but they're, they're going to get taken out before they can do anything. And here we go, the side storm's going down, that bio army is falling very quickly, the ghosts have been split from the main army, and that means the Protoss army split in a wrong way, the zealots were in the wrong position there, and here come the vikings taking out all those colossus, and I think those ghosts distracted the army for long enough for him to clean this up. Oh, it's going to go so even here, if these archons survive this viking damage, oh my god, the bio army is just been reduced to nothing, the archons can mop this up so easily, get in there and do your damage. Yeah, this is brilliant, and there is micro happening here, and this this is fallen very even. That medivac very low on health. I'm not too sure. Again, this the, that fight was extremely even, and zealots now going into this bio army as if uh, they're just they're just suiciding now. This is uh, this is yeah. over for those zealots. That fight went very weirdly. The colossus were out here on the side next to the Vikings. There were a few down here just slowly getting taken out. The army was split in half, but so was Marine King's army. He split his army on the left and the Vikings were on the right. Everything was getting taken out at exactly the same time. So that just went extremely evenly, leaving both players in practically the same situation they were in about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, and now a fifth going down for Marine King. Horvath, however, has had that fifth up for quite a while. Yeah, Marine King is really far behind on the income, actually, as Horvath is at 4,000. He's got the, the, you know, he's got the bank. He's got the money. He's got and the Bing Bang Blau. He's got the Bing Bang Blau, and here we... That factory hasn't actually come into much use down in the bottom corner of the map, and here comes the Bio Army to try and take out this base for Horvath over here on the left. Yep, here it comes. It's going to be able to take this Nexus right out. And, and what is he going back. to do in response? He's going to have to fall back and defend. He was completely out of position there. And Vikings is that. Yeah, there's no anti-air. And that Archon is just being sent in. Oh, no. This is terrible for Horvath. He's losing his army in completely the wrong way. And so much size storm potential right here. So many High Templars. There is just not enough anti-air. Oh, he's moving all his army into the Psy Storm. Yeah, what the hell? He's losing health on all his units there. Throwing down a nice Psy Storm that just got stims right into. Oh, there's a nice little choke here. If the army decides to commit suicide, it could walk down there. But luckily, there he backs off. <laughs> In my opinion, there are too many High Templars sat right there. There are so many. He's going to have to... Mothership, hello. Hello, I have not seen you since Wings of Liberty. <laughs> so a lot of zealots here and has he got any detection actually he's gonna have to scan almost immediately when this uh, engagement happens yeah he does have the ghost though he can throw down a nice EMP and reveal those units I'm not too sure how this fight's gonna go with this uh, mothership in the fight and two speed observers coming out but the main thing is I just saw four colossus being built so he's going to be able to resupply so fast, and he could throw carriers. I would love to see some carriers in this. Oh, oh my god, in a fight! And here we go, the fight's happening. And the side storms, they're not there, I can't see them. Here, th there you go, that is a lot of side storms. They're killing his own zealots. But that was so nice, bringing that army down to a nice, 
easy to deal with level, but he's committing suicide here. What is he doing? Those Archons aren't going to be built in time, but those are, that army is very low on health, and he can just build Zealots to uh, mop that up. And he just committed suicide to all his units, a very big resupply here. If these get one charge in, they'll be able to mop this up. Oh, he's going for the uh, base. No, he's got a rump. What's he doing? No, he's running in. He's decided. The armies have just kissed past each other, and here we go. But there's a planetary. It's a pl his planetary plan is forces, foiled. That's that's not good at all. The Vikings are here. They have landed, and there is a nice little counterattack coming in straight for the third. Colossus here. might get taken out here. Oh, three, four, Ooh. four could just mop this up right now. Oh, they've run away. They've left it, and here we go. Marine King just damaging Horvath's production here, and there's he's got to pull back almost all his army, and he did take out that planetary at the top. Oh, oh everything just died. melting Very here. Good. No anti-air, he needs some stalkers just to fire at those. And he's got blink, I think. Oh my god, I saw seven Archons in production just then. Where are they? There's four, and there's the other three. This is going to be so amazing, this fight. This it's is going to be, be devastating, but he has dropped those that bio force into the back of Protoss' base as Protoss is going to mop up this expansion. Yeah, this bio force is quite small and can be dealt with easily. And this force is just, this is the winning maneuver right here. I can see it now. He's moving right into the main base. This is going to do nothing. The bio force, that is. And look at all those archons. Look at that splash damage. That is just ridiculous. Right. So many EMPs going off, but there's just not enough. There's not enough ghosts in the world to destroy that many archons. And here we go. This has got to be GG. There's so many uh, Vikings, but Archon's the only anti-air he has, and they're just obliterating those Vikings. That was really a display of the amount of difference that base has made. He's had the money to just pump out nine Archons when he wanted to and make that killing manoeuvre. Yep, yeah, and there's a Bioforce sitting on the ramp. This is the last stand, I think, and I, I, I think Marine King, is, he's lost it here. Yeah, Marine King's just lost too much here. The four Colossus built at that point was a nice defensive maneuver to allow him to come in for this beefy attack. The amount of gateways he had is just pumping out a stupid amount of zealots. The, he had enough gas to just build as many ugly. He's building 13 High Templars right now. There's so many zealots, they're like zerglings. It's, uh, this, is, this is mental. This is ludicrous, the amount he's being allowed to build. Six Archons in production. You never get to see this unless you've had time to build your economy. Uh, after a 31 minute game, that is what happens, especially in these uh, TVPs. And he's gonna be able, he might be able to defend this, but <laughs> Horvath oh, even no. taking the cheeky sixth expansion where Marine King should be expanding and- Those oh. MPs did save him though. And look at the food. What has happened now? An this expansion is... going down. Marine King, has, he's still got this orbital up. How is he still in this game? If he wins this, this is going to be the comeback of the, the century, I'd say. And here we go. The, uh, the bio force now coming down. But no, there's too many zealots. This, this cannot be stopped. No, the, the pushing no force of this, there. it's just he's immense. Going, they're allowed to roam. Oh, these guys can get as many kills as they like, focusing the Archons down as they should. Yeah. Oh, no, this game keeps equalizing in the weirdest ways. Yeah, I have not seen anything like this. And the food now going into Horvath's favor, I think. We can see that Horvath is going to win this game, but Marine King, such a gracious defeat. Four more Colossus being built right now. Where are they going? They're this, trying to escape. Yeah, this army's just having a little stroll around the park trying to find this he has found it and this could be he's going for the probe straight away that's a good idea i think because the minerals aren't needed that much there's no point building another nexus there but those probes are going to fall and here we go the nexus now yep the defense force is coming down he's going to be able to stop this nice and easy but he has lost this base yeah, and through the reeds come the zealots and a lot of observers, and he's been trying to escape. Oh. But there's too many archons, so much splash damage. There's charge and there's blink. There's too much for Marine King to deal with here, and he has got a small bio force. Uh, 
Oh, and here's the, the rest of the bulk of the army, but just with so many Colossus on the field, he's gonna just push through straight to the main base once again. Yeah, and here comes the High Templar. Nice storm on most of that bio, and the Colossus are gonna, and the Archons together, splash damage, are gonna clear this up brilliantly. And he's finally got those Stalkers to deal with those Medivacs. Uh, this, is, this has got to be GG. Yeah, there's really nothing Marine King can do right now. Yeah, and there's the GG. Yeah, very well played, though, from Marine King and Horvath in that game. Horvath getting his, uh, his minor victory, but Marine King still taking away the best of three. Yeah, Horvath really showing his true skill there. That was a really good game, actually. Really equal on both fronts there. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed by me. Uh, thank you for watching. We've been Mr. Monkey's Lounge. I've been M. Oraculum. And I've been M. Ninja Monkey. And we will see you in the next cast. See ya.